Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing an episode of Can We Nail It? But it's going to be different. It's going to be how to make our homemade nail polish. I just did a video on this nail polish. We made it with just a few ingredients. And the ingredients include a clear coat or a top coat. You're going to need some eyeshadow you don't want to use anymore. Or if you have like a single shadow or a color in a palette that you don't use. You're going to need a tool to break up the shadow, and I'm just using a dotting tool. You're also going to need a funnel if you have one. Oh, nail polish just came out, or eyeshadow just came out of it. A funnel if you have one, if not, rolling up some sticky notes or some extra paper, and you're going to need paper to lay down. It's going to be a little bit messy, very messy, <laughs> and very fun to do if you have some extra shadow laying around that you're not using or you want to custom create a few nail polish colors I haven't named this one but it's so pretty a really pretty blue and we just use one eyeshadow for basically the entire thing so I think it comes out cool it's just something fun to do maybe you're looking for a custom color it does come out sheer you would need a lot of pigment for it to come out uh, deeper but the less you add, it'll be very sheer. The more you add, it becomes more and more opaque. But this is it. And I thought you guys would enjoy. So don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. So we're going to start out with our clear nail polish. This can just be a base coat, top coat, it doesn't really matter. I am using a clear coat and an old eyeshadow. We're just going to be using this blue color in this palette today. So we're just, ooh, lost my tool. I'm just using a dotting tool to crush up the shadow and I'm using sticky notes to um, funnel into this. So we're just gonna try and do this. So we're gonna open this, remove the brush and stick the brush on a sticky note over here. And now we're going to crush this shadow. You want to get it as fine as you can. So now we're going to take this sticky note and dump our shadow on top and just really make sure you get the big clumps. The big clumps, okay. So now, this is on a sticky note, we're gonna roll this and just funnel it. I have a little funnel from a nail tool kit that we're just gonna place on top. Ooh and put our shadow in and we're going to need to really press it in there to yeah. get it all in there keep going until there's no more in the funnel okay you can just push it down lightly but we're going to take our brush now as you can see there's the blue polish in there just gonna take our brush and push down. Oh, that's a big clump of it. And try to spin it around like this. Then we're gonna close it and just shake it up. Now we're going to repeat the process again. Take this out. 
we'll see how this looks. We have a white sheet of paper. We're just going to do it on the corner to see how sheer it is. That's so sheer. I don't know if you can even see that. That's our polish. It's very sheer. So we're going to try adding more. is the look after the second amount of polish or second amount of eyeshadow it's a really pretty blue let's test it out this is our first test our second one looks more promising it's definitely a darker blue I don't know if you'll see the difference it is a darker blue and we're just gonna add more until we get to the right consistency so like I said again, smash the eyeshadow into fine little pieces. Hmm. Take it on our sticky note. This definitely can get a little messy. Look, there's our old shadow. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of this white color. A little bit of it. Just to mix it in, like our hands are disgusting, you know. And you just wanna crush it into a powder. It just makes it easier for you to mix. And now we're going to open up our polish again. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and just funnel it in and clean up this mess and just funnel that product in there Oh, this is becoming a huge mess. Just funnel it in. This is why we sit down paper, because this does get a little bit messy. Okay, and this is our final color. A really pretty blue. And now we're going to test it out on our paper. Wow. That's a nice shade of blue. And you can see how it looks, you know, with the shadow. All you do is just shake it up a little bit before you use it. But this is our final shade of blue, and I think it looks good. It's a pretty blue shade. So if you have any problems with clumps or anything, just shake it before you use it. And that is how you get your very own nail polish. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment if you have any questions down below. And I'll see you guys next time.